Devolution in the United Kingdom meant that each of the four countries of the UK had its own different response to COVID-19, and the UK government, on behalf of England, moved quicker to lift restrictions. The UK government started enforcing social distancing and quarantine measures on March 18, 2020 and was criticized for a perceived lack of intensity in its response to concerns faced by the public. On 16 March, Prime Minister Boris Johnson advised against non-essential travel and social contact, suggesting people work from home and avoid venues such as pubs, restaurants, and theaters. On 20 March, the government ordered all leisure establishments to close as soon as possible and promised to prevent unemployment. On 23 March, Johnson banned gatherings of multiple people and restricting non-essential travel and outdoor activity. Unlike previous measures, these restrictions were enforceable by police through fines and dispersal of gatherings. Most non-essential businesses were ordered to close. On 24 April, it was reported that a promising vaccine trial had begun in England, the government pledged more than £50 million towards research. A number of temporary critical care hospitals were built. The first operating was the 4,000-bed NHS Nightingale Hospital London, constructed in just over nine days. On 4 May, it was announced that it would be placed on standby and remaining patients transferred to other facilities. 51 patients had been treated in the first three weeks. On 16 April, it was reported that the UK would have first access to the Oxford vaccine, due to a prior contract, should the trial be successful. Some 30 million doses in the UK would be available. On 2 of December, the UK became the first Western country to approve the Pfizer vaccine against the COVID-19 virus. 800,000 doses would be immediately available for use. It was reported on 5 of December that the United Kingdom would begin vaccination against the virus on 8 of December, less than a week after having been approved. On 9 of December, MHRA stated that any individual with a significant allergic reaction to a vaccine such as an anaphylactoid reaction, should not take the Pfizer vaccine for COVID-19 protection.